down two with the game on the line. Getting McDaniel switched off him after the pick from Derek Lively the second allows Luka Doncic to isolate Rudy Gobert with a hezzy cross tween. She bouncing it. She bouncing it. Look into the basket to fake the drive while flowing into his next cross has Gobert thinking Luka's stepping back for a jumper. However, Doncic chains his size up to another tween hezzy to again fake drive, which gets Gobert off him more than enough, so this time he does step back for a jumper, and it's cash. Doncic proceeded to talk trash to go bear, and while it was reported he said, Mother you can't fuck guard me, Luca said post game that what he said was in Slovenian. Either way, that was cold as hell from LD. After a Nas Reed brick on the other side, the Mavericks stole both games on the road in 2024's West Finals, as after getting one away from home, Dallas ultimately wasn't at all satisfied. The best player on the planet has provably earned that label, as while Anthony the next MJ Edwards has scored less than 20 in four of his last six playoff games, Luka Doncic has only failed to reach that total in four of his career 44 playoff games. Doncic joined Wilt Chamberlain, Magic Johnson, and Nikola Jokic as the only players to record four triple doubles in a five-game span during the playoffs. Throughout a fourth quarter where he hadn't scored and that had featured 11 lead changes, this didn't stop Doncic from letting it fly without hesitation, and it led to Luka lacing the nicest game winner of his career, which says a lot. Don't get it twisted, the one in the bubble in addition to the one in Memphis were special in their own right, but without fans in attendance for those games, this game winner showed us what Doncic is truly made of under pressure. The Mavericks battled back to erase an 18-point deficit, which was triggered by the best player in the game drawing three defenders in mid-air dishing to Gaff on the roll, then momentum crossing to his offhand to get past McDaniels downhill for the lefty finish, and then pushing the pace on the fast break and attacking Conley for what should have been an and one. Off this double drag where Green pops and Lively rolls, it's Doncic again mid-air dishing to the paint, where with the having checked in for Daniel Derrick, this time jams it. Kyrie set in a ball screen, flows into Luka going with a hezzy behind combo to get loose for this step back. McDaniels gets away with cheating under this screen, but Doncic just goes tween cross directly into a drive to freeze him, and with Jaden trailing him, plus Gobert accounting for Lively the second, Luka's able to take his time to craft home this floater. After shedding Jaden here, Luka's gravity vacuums five wolves, opening up Josh Green for a wide-open triple. Given Doncic had just been completely carrying, after he checked out, it was a question mark how Dallas would perform in the non-Luka minutes. Kyrie answers that question by using a Gafford screen to get to his left, collapsing Anderson, and it's 21-year-old sophomore Jaden Hardy coming through. Irving proceeds to get past Alexander Walker in an ISO to draw the attention of Gobert and weave a lob through both the Frenchman and Nas Reed to hook up Gaffer. Off a high gaff ball screen, it's Irving attacking Edwards one-on-one, -on -one, getting into his body to cut off Anthony's defensive angle. Ant jumps too early as Irving navigates around both he and the low man and Gobert to bank it home. With Luka checked back in to start the fourth, the Mavs are down seven. They get an empty side ISO for Irving, who catches posted up, triple threats while facing up at the arc, then jab steps again. Conley's still right there, but in a close conference finals game, this rise up and follow through in traffic is what you call having ice in your veins. Locating the mismatch in semi-transition, it's then PJ Washington slowing things down and taking advantage of the much smaller Conley. Despite Towns clogging the paint after Washington's drop step, the bank is open on a Friday night. Friday night. This ant turnover leads to Lively the second diving on the floor to snag the loose ball, keeping it away from Edwards, then pulling off the lion down outlet to Luka, who tosses to Kyrie, who right in the face of Nas Reed, somehow drains this three to make it a one-point Mavericks lead. All right, Dr. Seuss. The Wolves failing to properly communicate in this semi-transition, and Edwards being late to rotate to the top of the arc, allows the already in rhythm having just hit a deep range bomb Kyrie to make it a rare double, not to mention consecutive deep range bomb. That tops the double bang from Mike Breen, as far as your boy D-Flo is concerned at least. The Mavs go back to the double drag action with Kyrie dazzling through traffic with his all-time handle, faking the pass to the corner, galloping into the lane where Gafford's left open in the dunkers. Gobert slow to rotate, and it's thrown down on Rudy's head top. 
Jason Kidd runs this floppy action to get Luca a top of the arc retrieval, which is followed by an attack of Anderson, leading to Gafford finishing off a lob one-handed. Wildest circus shot of the night comes after this Jokic S. Doncic outlet, as it's Gaff landing in between Conley for the retrieval, then turning around off balance for a miraculous scoop. Pump faking on the catch, even after losing control of it, Kyrie Irving gathers himself by navigating back beyond the arc, momentum crossing Reed, stopping to fake the pull-up, sweeping through Edwards, and despite losing control for a second time, he gathers in mid-air and all in one motion lobs to Lively. Speaking of whom off another double drag, it's this time Doncic spotting Lively the second for a throwdown, as the rookie Derek had a massive 14 points off the pine without a miss. However, the Mavs still find themselves down 5 with 113 remaining. Back into the shot clock sees Kyrie fly past Anthony at the point of attack, bait lob to Derek before kicking it out to another Derek, who swings to Luka, who gets trapped and swings to the relocated Irving in the corner, who clutches up like the 2016 finals. Derek Lively the second, then utterly neutralizing Anthony Edwards after switching onto him with his length, foot speed, awareness, and springiness forces Ant-Man to chuck it out of bounds. This would set up a game winner for the ages broken down in the intro. But what a game, man. What a series. What a Western Conference playoffs as a whole we've gotten this year. Just incredible hoops. The first two games of this series have seen the Mavs make 12 less threes than the Wolves and still win game one. Then in game two, Dallas getting down big early and slowly but surely clawing back. I mean, holy crap, this Mavs team really refuses to be denied at all costs. And as this video is titled, they were not at all satisfied, maintaining that lack of complacency while continuing to execute their bread and butter offensive playsets, of course also mixing it up, will be the Dallas Mavericks' key to winning two more in this series and advancing to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2011, where they took out LeBron James and the Super Team Miami Heat. What is the key for Dallas closing out this series though, in your opinion? Let me know down below in the comments for a chance at next video shoutout and free merch of your choosing. Pause to read today's shoutout winners. Your boy DFlow signing off and I'll see you next video.